Okay, we're going to go out to Big Buddha right now, who's talking heart health. Hey, B. Okay, B, so you heard it. Hey, really, I mean, put all yes, your money on I the did. Eagles now. Wait, but what's Rose's record? I mean, I know she was right last year. 100%. But, but how about years past? 100%. 100%. Last year was the first year. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, she's 100%. <laughs> I could just... Would you place a bet based on an armadillo picking a team? Oh... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that does not sound convincing. You're well, you and I are on the same team. Don't listen to Dan. Don't listen to him. All right. Anyway, Rose picked last year's Super Bowl winner. Uh, again, this year, we're, I don't know if she's going to be right, obviously, because the game's Sunday. She picked the, the Eagles. Okay. So if you all want to ride on the armadillo, that's your own <laughs> fault. Don't blame us. Don't blame us. Uh, we're wrapping things up here and talking about... Um, Heart healthy because this weekend it's Heartbeat 2018, and and I love this because you brought a salad. And sometimes I do have the intention of doing the healthy thing and getting a salad. But what's what's our what are some of the common mistakes that we make as people when we do pick a salad? Yeah, I mean when we think we're eating a salad, we think oh it's going to be a healthy meal no matter what. But the one mistake that we make usually is just dousing it in store bought dressings. These store bought dressings are a lot of times going to be higher in saturated fat. And added sugars um, and processed. salt and pro very processed. Yeah. yeah. So the good thing is we can ma easily make our own dressings at home. Okay. What? Give, give me something just right off the top of your head, right off the dome, about uh, something that you can combine to make make it tasty and healthy for you. Yeah. So um, you know, using a base like something like olive oil mm -hmm. is going to be great because it's healthy fats in there. Um, you're not getting any salt. Um, you could add something like any type of vinegar that you like for your flavor preference, and then some salt-free seasonings and stuff would be a good mix combination. Now, being a registered dietitian, do you have a website? I mean, I'm obviously coming here in person, right, for the uh, free uh, heart fair event is the best way to get information with you. But if we leave or after that, I'm like, oh, I remember her talking about healthy uh, salad dressings. I'm going to go to the website. Is there something like that where we can get more information? Yeah, if you go to Intermountain Healthcare's website and go to Nutrition Services, you can um, sign up to meet one-on-one -on -one with a dietitian, which is a really good option. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, weight management classes called the Weight to Health Program, which is a good option. As well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's going to be a lot of demos here happening. Uh, it's absolutely free. You can go directly to their website. Go to ours because we'll put a link there, fox13now.com. So the tip that I've learned to make sure if you're going to eat salad, don't douse it with dressing. Exactly. Yes. Eat it sparingly. Yes. All right. <laughs> nice you. job, Amanda. All right. <laughs> nice job. Thanks, All about me. the heart. Mm -hmm.